So you can see here our pile of dead meters is growing. So I'm still looking for one just to meet that Cat 1 spec. This is recommended by Halvman out on the EV blog. This is a uh, Ampro 510. I like the looks of the meter. Fairly large. Has a lot of features. We're going to try this one next. So I tested everything out on the meter. It all seems to function except the current input. I had to tear it apart and it looks like the fuse is blown. So I noticed when I got this thing that uh, there was a little bit of tape here where it had been resealed. So I suspect somebody took this thing home, probably hooked it up to their car battery or plugged it in their wall outlet in current mode and took that fuse out. So I'll go ahead and replace that with a real UL rated fuse and uh, we'll make sure that works and then we'll start testing. Well, it turns out the, uh, the fuse was the only thing that was wrong with it. Unfortunately, I don't have the correct fuse for it, so uh, rather than risking uh, damaging that piece of the circuitry, I'm just not going to test it until I can get the proper fuse. I mean, I may fail for another reason, so I'll just go ahead and continue uh, testing without it for now. Okay, meter at least stayed alive. We'll go through and functional test it and see what we got.
Looks like it's good. So this is the first meter it's passed. Again, I wasn't able to test the uh, little current ranges, but uh, it's okay. Sign of hope.